<laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Peace, NBK presents Underground Railroad Records, William Steele and the Vigilance Committee, Part 1. Let's begin. William Steele was an African-American abolitionist, a conductor on the Underground Railroad, businessman, writer, historian, and civil rights activist. After purchasing his own freedom, he moved to Philadelphia, becoming a clerk for the Society for the Abolition of Slavery. He later became an agent on the Underground Railroad, assisting fugitive Africans who came to Philadelphia. William still is best known for his self-published book, The Underground Railroad, where he documented the stories of formerly enslaved Africans who gained their freedom by way of the Underground Railroad. The Pennsylvania Anti-Slavery Society was established in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in 1838. Founding members included James and Lucreta Mott, Robert Purvis, and John C. Bowers. Barrows was also known for being a founding member of the Grand United Order of the Odd Fellows for African Americans in Pennsylvania. With the passage of the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850, Steele was appointed chairman of society's revived vigilance committee that aided and supported fugitive Africans. After over 40 years of searching, William rescued his brother, Peter. A bold stroke of freedom. John Boyer and party made their escape from London County, Virginia, helping themselves to the master's horses and carriage. They headed towards Canada, seeking liberation from the whip. On Christmas Eve, 1855, they were stopped in Maryland along the Cheat River. A group of angry whites demanded the party show their right to pass. If enabled, they will be expected to surrender themselves without protest. Fearless, the party drew their pistols and knives, welcoming any attempt to take them back into bondage. After the skirmish was over, four of them escaped and have not since been heard of. Blood flowed freely. Traveling on the Underground Railroad via C, Abram Galloway and Richard Eden hid themselves on a schooner headed to Philadelphia. They were to be hidden in a batch of Rosen and Turpentine. Unfortunately, the North Carolina had enacted a law that required vessels to be smoked before departure. They made wet cloth to cover their faces, along with mortar and towels. The smoking of the vessel wasn't as dreadful as the serpentine. By the time they arrived, much of their blood had been lost. It cost for freedom. Abram Gataway later joined the Civil War effort for the Union as a chief intelligence agent. Also was elected to the North Carolina General Assembly 1868-69. The Crabs Enslaved in Georgia, the couple devised a plan in 1848 that would have Miss Craft impersonate an old planter with their husband playing servant. In Charleston, they ran into trouble, and the Carolinas Negroes traveling north required a bond. They were able to slip by the ticketing agent using the disabilities of the planter's hearing. After the Craft settlement in the north, the Fugitive Slave Act was passed. With the assistance of the Vigilance Committee, secured a passport to Great Britain. They attended the Great Expedition with William Wells Brown in 1851, entertained by the Queen and Prince Albert. 